Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about uh, this gyro sensor right here. Um, we're just going to take a look at the gyro sensor, what its you know main uses are for. And if those of you that are having issues with it, especially those of you that are doing FLL, um, there's some kind of aha moments I just had this weekend with it that I just wanted to, sh to show you about it. So. Um, this gyro sensor, it's uh, one, of, one of our main basic uses for it is to just keep this robot going straight. Um, obviously, with your motors, um, they're not always going to be going at the perfect exact uh, speed and momentum. So what we, what we do is we use this gyro sensor to just keep us on a, on a straight line. So what we would have obviously issues is if this gyro sensor is not working a lot of i mean most of our programs are just down the drain because this is not going straight so i have a program on here that that keeps this robot straight but i want you to see what happens that it just happened to us this weekend at a, a scrimmage for fll so you can see how this robot is definitely not going straight major uh, turning issues there so what i want you to do is what we're going to do is um, we're going to take a look at the gyro sensor in our port view. And this could be a, a, an issue here. You can see how it's sitting on a flat surface right here, but we're getting um, just these you know, interesting numbers going on here. here. So what we're trying to figure out is, well, what, what could cause this gyro sensor to trip out, malfunction? So what I'm going to do is just unplug this for a second. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to basically unplug this and give this gyro sensor a chance to reset or recalibrate here. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds, usually maybe more than five. All right, let me just plug this in here. Okay. So notice what happened is once I replug that back in, now we're at zero degrees here. And that's gonna obviously help with this gyro sensor now keep us going straight. So what we wanna do now is just take a look at that same exact program. Actually called it my block program. And now you can see the huge difference now of that robot going a lot straighter than what it was. So um, on that case here, um, there's a couple of options. Um, obviously that reset. So if your gyro sensor is tripping out to just like we did, unplug it, give it a chance to recalibrate and then plug it back in. Um, but we also realized too that if you are turning this robot on without it being on a flat surface, that could cause some issues too. So watch this. Let me um, go ahead and power this robot off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually power this robot on um, without it being on a flat surface. And what I want to do is see if that affects um, the gyro sensor and it being able to run that same exact program. So this is kind of cool to have this be uh, maybe a tutorial, but also an experiment to see how that's gonna work. So we have this robot shutting down, and what I'm gonna do is, as soon as it shuts down, I'm gonna actually you know, power it back up, but not have it powered back up sitting on a flat surface, but just have it power on in my hand here and see how that affects this gyro sensor. Okay, so it has turned off. I'm gonna start it back up again. And this happens a lot, you know, with your teams, they might be holding the robot in their hand as they power it up. And what we wanna do is see how that affects this gyro sensor. Cause this gyro sensor right now is going, uh, I really don't know what flat is right now. And that that's could, you know, that could cause this gyro sensor to malfunction. So what we're gonna do is let this guy power up and I'm gonna run that same program to see. Okay, so I'm gonna put this robot on the, here and I'll find that same program that I just ran for you that went straight. And let's see what happens.
And can you see what's happening? This robot's turning off to the side here. So that's one of the, I guess, key advice here for this gyro sensor is when you're going to start up your robot, make sure it's sitting on a flat surface. Um, because if you're holding it, this gyro sensor doesn't know where zero degrees is or, or what flat is. So let's go ahead and do that reset. So what I could do is I, I could do a couple of things. I can actually unplug this, let it recalibrate or reset. Or next time that my team turns their robot on, make sure it's turned on on a flat surface. So let's go ahead and plug that back in. And now let's run that same program. So you see how straight that's going now? So our experiment worked. Um, if the gyro sensor is flipping out, unplug it, give it about five seconds to reset or recalibrate, or when you power up this robot, just make sure it's sitting on something flat. All right, guys, hopefully that was helpful for those of you that are using your gyro sensor. I am Mr. Hino for Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.